All right, listeners, before we jump into today's podcast, I just want to let you guys know that uh, the Hometown Haunts and Hops Festival is back this year. Uh, After a huge success last year at Mayflower Brewery, we are going to be doing our second annual Hometown Haunts and Hops event um, on September 21st at Mayflower Brewery. Uh, The doors will be opening at 1. It'll run till about 7. Our lead guest will be John Kaser, the Crypt Keeper himself. It has been 35 years of Tales from the Crypt, and we're going to celebrate this year with him uh, joining us for autographs and a panel. And beyond that, we're going to have a bunch of other live podcasts. We're going to have a retro video game area. We are going to have Tim Curry's screen-worn Pennywise costume from the original It series. We are going to have haunt related vehicles such as ecto-1 raccoon city police cruiser and even a 1984 cadillac hearse on site for photo ops we are going to have exclusive hot sauce an exclusive action figure beer releases vendors it is going to be a full day of fun at mayflower brewery tickets start at 25 dollars Uh, for that day but we're also going to be doing some movie showings the friday night before uh we're going to be showing wnuf halloween special at dirty water distillery that friday night and over at sour not sorry in downtown plymouth we're going to be showing pennywise the story of it an award-winning documentary of the making of the original it tv show uh so you can find all this information on our website inebriart.com and you can get your tickets there as well uh it'll be a fun day we had a great time last year there's gonna be food trucks and music and it's just gonna be a whole day to hang out and enjoy everything spooky so we'll see you there us instead of the 16 ounce plastic cups that we ordered oh okay. <laughs> <That's pretty good. laughs> they gave us 32 ounce dippin donuts cups fuck yeah yeah there's like a new donut place in here. I need to know mm. about. There should be a donut place in here. Market basket, best donuts ever. Yeah. Yep. I don't need donuts anymore. Save it for the last call day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like they make them on site, or they ship them in. They make them there. That's why they good. Actually, market baskets, like grab and go food's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Just so make it. Yeah. Welcome back to Market Basket Talk. <laughs> Bar Talk. Um, I am Andy and joined today by Jess Hamill, general manager of New World Tavern, where we're recording. Hello. Dan Mahoney's of Stats of South Boston. Where we're not recording. No, ever. Definitely not. And our guest today, uh, <laughs> Carl Heine of Tolson Staff and Tavern and New World Tavern fame. Co-founder of this podcast. Co-founder of this podcast who hasn't been on in like six months. Fair. Yeah. 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 I love I, it. Do you remember how to do this, Carl? Yeah, I just talk and you guys ask stupid questions. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You say next. Next. Yeah, stupid. Next. I hate that. A dumb. Um, What's next? But we were talking just before we got started. Um, there's kind of a lot going on about tipped employees, especially here in Massachusetts. Um, this November, there's question five about. Oh, geez, um, about whether they should raise tipped employees to the state minimum wage. And so I have the basic rundown here. It says, if you vote yes, um, you support gradually increasing the wage of tipped employees until it meets the state minimum wage in 2029 and continues to permit tipping in in addition to the minimum wage, which I think the first time I heard this, it was proposed as they're getting rid of tips. I think that's how... I mean, I think eventually... That's what it's going to lead to, but yeah, continue. Yeah, and a no vote opposes gradually increasing the employee's minimum wage until 2020. So, keeping it the way it is. The gradually increasing thing was new to me. I didn't know it was like gradually over time until 2029. Is that what you said? Yeah. Well, I think they do stuff like that so it doesn't like scare com- you. Completely yeah. destroy your yeah. business, yeah. you know. But they still do it anyway. They just say tips employees are going from. Yeah, like yeah. six seventy five. Now it's going to be seven twenty five. Right. So they still do that from time to time. Right, right. But I mean, this is from six seventy five to fifteen dollars. Yeah, right. It's a huge jump. Yeah, over five years. Um, yeah, I yeah. Because because the way I heard it initially was that they were doing away with tips, and I'm like, then no one will wait tables because why would you do that? 
That's correct. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Right, but, but I they're think... still going to make tips. Right. My question is, why is the dishwasher or cook in there working for minimum wage when you can be a bartender work minimum wage and make tips? Because they have to talk to people. So can you take those tips and split it up between the whole company? Well, so in this portion of what I was reading, it does say, um, I mean, it, that's what I heard was that it was going to eventually be that because everybody is uh, now minimum wage, uh, that the tips would get pooled throughout the employees in the restaurant. So it's kind of like, I, what's myth and what what's real? Like, I... Because now I'm hearing different things. Um, right. And like you said, like it's like, oh, we originally heard they were just doing away with tips. Well, I mean, when I first heard it was like an industry person being like, they're trying to get rid of our, t-, you know, like, so. Well, yeah, I'm I mean, sure I'm it was just, how many PBRs did you guys have yeah. at that point? <laughs> uh, I think it was, was the middle of the day. <laughs> I, uh, granted, that yeah, doesn't yeah. answer that question. Um, um, no, he dodged that question real quick. <laughs> well, no, as soon as I said it, I'm like, I realized that didn't answer the question. <laughs> but you still didn't answer the question. I was sober. All right. Yeah. Um, How were they? But you figure if, if you're a tipped employee um, and you go to minimum wage, so let's call it fifteen dollars for now. Minimum wage might be different in twenty twenty nine. Twenty twenty nine. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Could be twenty bucks by then. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's fifteen bucks an hour, and they're then making let's say twenty dollars an hour on tips, which okay. is not a lot. Yeah. Okay, so every hour they make an extra twenty bucks. Yep. So now they're making thirty five bucks an hour. And that's like hugely minimal. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Well yep. but but here's the other thing is like so if you have to now pay everyone fifteen, twenty bucks an hour minimum, you have to raise your prices. And yeah. then everyone tips a percentage of the bill. So yeah. you're you're essentially making it not feasible for people to go out and eat like people going out that's are going to be way less i i think that once people realize that tipped employees don't make their don't make 90 percent of their income in tips now they get paid an hourly wage they're not going to be tipping 18 20 25 percent see i disagree yeah, I, think, I, 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 I think i think people so will still too. be doing that and maybe I feel people like, are already but... kind of like well why am i tipping this guy for just turning around and handing me a draft beer like oh. people, you're already hearing that kind yeah, of conversation. I feel yeah. like there's so much more pressure to tip for everything now. No, I, right. Yeah. So I feel like that kind of goes with it as well. It's like, well, if, if I'm only tipping the barista at Starbucks a couple of bucks because they're getting tip minimum wage, you know, and yes, it's quicker service, then why should I be tipping a full twenty percent of the food? And like you said too, if the prices of the menu go up. And they're tipping twenty percent, then that's a lot of money for them to be mm-hmm. tipping. Yeah. So I don't think that that they're going to still be getting eighteen twenty. So you think it's going to be the European model where people don't tip, don't tip, or just tip, or tip, or, or, or tip like shitty because way. they know they're shitty. getting paid. Pe- well, now it's not shitty. Yeah, no, well, do you know what I mean? it's a whole different uh, mindset. Okay, right, right. But in comparison to what they're doing right now, if you had a two hundred dollar check, that's a forty dollar, roughly about forty dollar tip. Twenty percent, you know, if they're only tipping seven, ten bucks just to whatever, then that's a shitty tip. Right now, I know that. That's right. what in comparison, yeah, correct. But, but, does the, but so, like, if you raise your minimum wage, and and this is the other thing, is I like I'm not sure who's pushing for this. Like, I mean, so you, if you raise what, your minimum, like. The organization that's putting this on the organization, the or just like our ser- servers wanting this. I mean, obviously, it's the called the organization are- is called One Fair Wage, and it's based in California. Yeah, and it's a coalition of activists. Stupid that's California. That's who's putting it up. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying is like our st- our servers being like, we need to be getting paid minimum wage. Like it has to stem from somewhere because if yeah, the servers are like, we need to be getting paid minimum wage, and then get paid minimum wage. <sighs> And then get shit tips. It, it like does you're say shooting that, yourself in the foot. It does say that the organization is not composed of restaurant workers. So it's just some random. I, sounds like from politics. what I hear, yeah, that's that's, <laughs> yeah. that's 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 what I've heard is that it's. But that's a lot of money for someone to make, right? So as a server yeah, or a bartender, I would be voting 
yes on that. <laughs> Would you? Yeah, absolutely. If I could make sure. if I could make um, nine bucks more an hour and still get tips. Yeah, but you're getting yeah, taxed. Yeah, but your, your your tips are going to be like you're getting taxed. You now. get taxed regardless. Right. I mean, you're you know. getting okay. So you're telling me that every bartender and server claims a hundred percent of their cash tips. Well, no, but right. But just because they're not doing it doesn't mean it's not taxed. Correct. Like they're they're they're. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Evading taxes. Okay. They're not doing it. But let's go back. But no, but uh, uh, you, you're making as a someone smart. working as someone working on both ends, I know exactly what's getting claimed, and right. it's less than what they're making. Right. But what I'm saying so, is that's not quote unquote the right thing. No, I know that. Right. I'm just saying. Okay. So it's happening. Just because it's not the right thing doesn't mean that it's not happening. Right. So that's, that's almost like a different issue, though. Correct. No, I know, I know. Oh my gosh. So anyway, so I'm just saying, like they, they're to this. I, I'm trying to think on the side of the bartender. So okay. regardless of whether it's right or wrong, this is the mentality that these guys are, these bartenders and servers are going to have that they're going to get their cash chips taxed. Okay, maybe they're already doing it anyway. But in their head, that's a bigger issue for them to get a weekly check that's taxed more than they would have every week. Than it is to just walk with cash home every every day. You're saying they prefer that or didn't prefer that? They prefer because, cash in their pocket because every they day. wouldn't every day. Yes, because agree, they yeah. wouldn't be able to avoid the tax. But that's all assuming that once it goes up to minimum wage, that people won't be tipping. No, 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 no. 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 It, it's still it's because under the current system, they're able to not pay their taxes because they don't claim what they actually make. Yeah, like they, I don't think that's a big as deal as it used to be in the old days. Um, now with the POS systems that they have and everything else, and I would say, cards. what, 80 to 90% is all cards now? Yeah. So back in the day, it used to be 30% cards and, cards and everything was cash. Right. And it was just a cash register. So back then, you could fudge a lot of numbers. Yeah. Now you can't do that so easily. Um, so even if they're not claiming a lot of their tips, they're claiming something. Right. So... Something of a small pot is less than. Right. Nothing I'm just saying pot. that's the mentality of most uh, of these people. See, now I I don't disagree with you. Right. But if somebody put this in front of me and I'm Joe bartender and I'm saying, hey, I can make 15 bucks an hour rather than six and still get all my tips, I'll do that. Yeah, but. But that would be my mentality. Listening to this, you can't guarantee. I mean, tips aren't a guarantee in, in general. So you can't guarantee that once this is going to change. That the tip isn't the tip percentage and the tip mentality and the yep. and all that isn't going to change. With uh, it. I'm not saying it's not. I'm yeah. saying yeah. from a bartender. If I was a bartender, and I'm thinking five years from now, I'm voting yes on that thing because first of all, bartenders don't think that far ahead. Right. That's correct. And right. I think that's yeah. the thing. It's a very slippery slope. They're right. just thinking I'm going to get I'm more paid money. more an hour, yeah. and I'm getting all my tips. That's what I think most of them yeah. are thinking. But it's definitely now, slippery whether it happens slope. or not, yeah. we don't know. I, yeah, I, I, I'm worried about that about. About still getting the amount of tips that they're getting now, I don't. I, I don't think they could. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, right. that, that's I mean, that's and that's what you're. That's what these people have been doing for however many years. I mean, how long has it been this way in Massachusetts? With forever, right? Forever. Forever. forever, yeah. So everyone's been doing it the same way forever. It's scary to have a big change of being like okay, right? And the other and thing that's is where too, I, like, I think it's going to be that people will stop going out and not tip less. Because it's so ingrained that you tip correct twenty percent yeah, that you're not going to be that. oh because uh, well, I've seen it just a couple times when we've increased our prices on a couple of things. I had somebody complain the other night about a price of uh, you know like a, the canned vodka sodas yeah and they left me fifty cents because that's they, that's all they had that's all they could okay. give me so you know what I'm saying but out, like, of so, out of how so, many customers that's like one no but out of how many like is every I, customer doing it. Not every customer, but yeah. a, a good chunk, of it, especially because that's what all the fucking bitches were drinking back then the yeah. other night. But yeah, I mean, it, if and we're cheaper than most on a yeah. price. And but, so if you, but then now you have everything across the board going up, and I think more people are just going to be like, "Well, I can't afford to go out right. because I can't pay two hundred dollars." It's, hard for to go out and anyway. tip. it's yeah. already expensive. Yeah. So I, I just, I just see it 
hurting restaurants across the board. Oh, it's definitely. I think it's gonna. It's gonna. I think it's gonna hurt. It's it's gonna. If there's more cons in it than there are pros. But you're right. Oh, I agree with you. I'm 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 totally against this. By the way. Yeah. I'm totally. Uh, (laughs) It seems like you've been trying to. No, I'm I'm saying. I'm I'm afraid (laughs) because most of the people that are going to be voting are servers and bartenders. Not most of the people, but that big group. Yeah. And all they say is more money. I'm going to make more money. Yep. Well, they don't, they don't, I don't think I've heard one down. bartender say, Ooh, I'm going to make more money. In well, any of the conversations I've I had think about this because what you're talking to think yeah. their tips are getting taken away. Because they're afraid of you, Jess. Yeah. Good. I don't want them talking to me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I mean, who knows what's going to happen in the future. Things could change. I mean, by then there might not be any cash. It might be a cashless society. Dude, I mean, it's already almost. It's I mean, already there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we're only talking a couple of years. I mean, five. What can happen yeah. in five years? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Um, five years ago, I was young. <laughs> yeah. Or, Which five or, years yeah. were those? <laughs> five dog years. Um, yeah, and I mean, it seems like the other issue that's being bantered around a lot is not taxing tips at all. Which yeah, I don't, I don't, I haven't gotten into that part yet, so I don't understand it. Like, so it's only it, it's only been proposed. Like it hasn't. Why would they? I think it is a, hey, I want your vote. Yeah, it's and pandering. I, yeah, it's yep. very pandering. So if, I'm just throwing this out, thinking about it right now. If tips were not I want to see if you have the same taxed, thought that I have. I would say, I'll work for free. I'll work for tips. Yeah. They don't have which, to pay taxes. which, let's face it, that's what most bartenders do. Like, <laughs> so many bartenders I know, they go, I get my checks, like, every two months I yeah. like, go and yeah. deal with yeah. them. But see, that's not my thought. My thought is like that's bullshit. The New World Comedy Show isn't twelve dollars anymore. You get in with a tip, right? Yep. Like, why wouldn't everyone just work for you know? Yeah, I mean, I. I mean, you can get around that. Just say it. you have to come in for donations. Yeah, or, or just be Donation. like, hey, you know, I'll build your house. You have to pay for materials. And, and then, then just tip me at the end. And then tip me for yeah. my labor at the end, I'm, which is a I'm sure four hundred percent gratuity yeah, or whatever. I mean, I'm sure if it if they're if they, I'm sure if they're proposing that bill, then if many there's limitations. Well, I don't, there's I don't, limitations. I don't, on, I don't even think there's a bill proposed yet. I think it's oh, just okay. like a it's, just, it's a campaign see, promise at this oh, point. I just That's see people true. writing on people's checks. What vote for who and what? Really? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. seeing people write them on their own. Oh, I haven't seen it. It's oh, been like online yeah. a lot. Oh, yeah. that's what I'm yeah. saying. Because oh, one candidate said they yeah. that that's what they're going to do, and then the other candidate said it, and then they're like, they're copying me, and I'm like, Jesus like Christ. The, the one guy told See, I everyone know. he killed a bear in Central Park. <laughs> <laughs> but there are, just yeah. some good good points. If I go to Dunkin' Donuts, right. are they already making minimum wage? I have yep. no idea what yes. Dunkin' yes, Donuts is. Yes, they do. Yep, they do. And if I'm tipping them, and let's say I tip two bucks. Yep. All right. It doesn't matter what I bought. I'm usually tipping yeah. them two bucks. Four coffees, one coffee, whatever. I tip them two bucks. And there's a line behind me and everybody tips two bucks. All of a sudden, they're making 35 bucks an hour. Yeah. Except that two bucks is split between like eight people. So they Yeah, but I got eight Yeah, but people. some places that are doing this, I mean, like we, same it's thing be, here. Yeah, true. But it also depends I got eight, on what I got eight hours people you're in line, Right. Yeah. I got eight people in line yeah. that are tipping every, you know, say they go through that line every 15 minutes. Yeah, in a busy store. Yeah. So our friendly neighborhood podcast editor used to work at Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> and gets very huffy when I don't tip at Dunkin' Donuts because in my mind, I don't tip at Wendy's. I don't right. tip at McDonald's. Yeah. I don't See, tip that's at, my mentality, it's too. It's the same exact thing. Is I I don't tip at Starbucks. I don't tip at Dunkin' Donuts. I don't tip at those places. I will tip the girls down the street here at Gunther Judy's Yeah, because I'm sure they're not... I mean, they're probably making minimum wage, but do they have health benefits? Do they have 401ks? Do they have all the other stuff that comes yeah, with... Yeah, they're not as a large corporation. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. those... Yeah, but I don't so think that when tips, I go off the tip, I don't say, hey, this is a large corporation. Does that girl yeah. over there make... I, that's exactly what I think. Never, yeah. 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 That's yeah. exactly what I think, mind. that it's yeah. a large never corporation. Goes through my mind. That's exactly uh, what I think. What I think, and I have overheard comments from, like, Dunkin' Donuts employees about customers, myself included, who don't tip. <laughs> Being like, oh, this fucking guy. But then, like, the guy in front of me used his card, and he didn't tip. The right. guy yeah. in front of him used the app, and they didn't right. tip. Right, I like, use the app, yep. and there is no option for yeah. tipping on the Dunkin' Donuts one. There is on the Starbucks one, but, like, after the fact. Yeah. Um, but I don't, yeah, no. 
I I just don't feel like you do anything more than any other fast food place. So yeah. Gosh, just because well, you serve coffee doesn't mean you get to. I think some coffee places do. Like Depending. Starbucks. I mean, if you're going like to get like Starbucks, there's more to like. You, there's yeah, like, and there's like all sorts of different fucking toppings and yeah, powders. Yeah. And they can use and machines after this new Dunkin' Donuts is pouring. Yeah. 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 Nothing to take away from right. that. They have like bar they've taps. They've got the keg systems. Yeah. 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 So what's the difference between that and here? You got to deal with more sass at Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> yeah, Dunkin' Donuts, you have to deal with more sass? Yeah, <laughs> because coffee people are the worst. He's <laughs> coming up with someone who drinks fucking coffee. To be fair, he didn't have his coffee today, and he is kind of grumpy. So. That's gonna just... I think Carl's the least grumpy person on the table. I right agree. Because <laughs> he had a 20 ounce sight on yeah. sour. Hey, whatever gets him that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's why you tip the bartender, not the coffee guy. So they're serving you alcohol. Well, because like, going out is an experience. You want to shoot the shit with the bartenders, you want to shoot the shit with. You know, and going people, out to certain places, you like, know, you yeah, don't tip like, yeah, yeah, like it's just you're there you're, for more. Yeah, you're it's it, it, you're you're tipping on the experience. You're not always tipping on the food or whatever. Like you're t- you're tipping on the whole thing. So tipping on a coffee, that's not an experience. And even get a breakfast. I was like, I just and... I order on the app. I walk in, I get my stuff, and I walk out. I'm there for less than ten seconds. See, I don't go there, so I don't fucking have any foot. Do you get coffee at all? I make my own coffee. I'm an adult. Oh, that's fair. (laughs) I don't drink coffee. Apparently, I'm not an adult. You need to fucking drink coffee, bro. (laughs) (laughs) These 14 Diet Cokes you have next to you is worse. It's like, I'm getting diabetes. I don't need (laughs) tea. Fuck coffee. I'm not tipping you five-year-olds. It's my only vice. It's my only vice. I don't know. I think think it's hairy, and I think... I mean, it's, it's nice that... They're having these meetings in town to educate uh, owners and and tipped employees. Um, they just can't make it on a Wednesday at two o'clock, <laughs> right? Yeah, because <laughs> plus I'm not sure really who's gonna for. you know lead that. All they can do is guess what's gonna happen. If they yeah. can't come in and say you're not gonna make any tips anymore because they don't know that. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah, and who knows how? That, I mean, again, I wasn't able to make the meeting, so I have no idea what was said or, or what. I don't know what I don't know what happened, but. At Picture least somebody is trying to get through the through the all the paperwork, all the chart to like e- explain to people what it is exactly. Because um, it does, it is gonna, it's gonna affect the owners yeah. more than anybody else. Yeah, um, and, that, and that's what I'm saying. Is I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna cause restaurants to go under and yep. less people to go out to yeah. eat. And I don't. I think Carl's right where the servers aren't thinking that far ahead. Oh, they definitely don't. They They're, don't even think until the end of the tax year when they have to pay their taxes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, they don't... It, but now all my cooks want to be bartenders. Yeah. Because they can make a Who, they can make minimum wage. And, and I'm saying if I was a cook... Oh, it's like, is somebody cook, here? I, no, just in general. <laughs> if I was a cook and I'm making 20 bucks an hour and I can say, oh, I could buy a ton and make 35. Yeah. And 15 or 20 of it, whatever the minimum wage is at that point, is guaranteed... It's what I'm guaranteed not. Yeah. I mean, it, it's also, again, it's what you're guaranteed a week. Bartending can fluctuate yep. drastically. Correct. Yeah. So it, no sometimes it is worth, quote unquote, making a little less money because uh, you know you're going to get that paycheck every week. You know exactly what you're going to get every week. You know? Um, I, I tell you, when, when I was self employed and went back to work for another company, there was like this, like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm getting the same paycheck every week. And there was like a bit of a, yeah, you know, like a, like, oh, whew, this is cool. Yeah. And then about two years later, I'm like, this fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's telling me what yeah. to do. Yeah. I mean. Say no more Diet Coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's hairy. I think it's a hairy situation and I don't know. No, if some, I don't think it's good. I don't. I don't. I don't. And my question is, if if it's so, I guess if they're doing it in California. I don't know what other states are doing it in either, but this is just the one that keeps popping up. I mean, the cost of living in California is just as bad, if, if not, not worse, worse yeah, than yeah. Massachusetts. So it's not like it works in a place where the cost of living is much cheaper. Yeah. So it's not going to kill somebody to go out still, if you know the prices increase a little bit or whatever. Uh, 
So I'm just curious, like, and like how, how like it just I, I don't see how it works, but that's just because again, see, I, doing the same thing for so long, it's yeah, it's hard to understand. Here's my sense. question, and I'm gonna state that I am not for this, but <laughs> they do this in other parts of the world, and it works. So what's the difference between here? And but there? is it the exact same thing as what they do in other parts of the world? Well, in other parts what, of so the I'm world, that like, there, right? That's what I mean. Like, I don't know. There's tipping isn't a thing. Like, right? If they tip, so how much all, do the employees make? Whatever. The, but yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Though you're made, yeah. you're raising their weight. They have to make right. something. So like, yeah. But if it's never been that way, right? And, and it, it's the then there is trying no to difference. transition from right. one to the other. Right. 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 It's like again, huge but change. I'm looking yeah. at like cost of goods wise. If everyone's tip, everyone's paid the same. How right, can but they things, afford to do so it? So if there? we're talking about like say the, minimum the UK, if we're talking about Yeah, if we're talking yeah. about UK, right? Yeah. Let's say for instance, because that's a place where at least I, so I'm I pretty sure, I know. right? Yeah. Is the UK they don't have tips. No, I'm always drunk on that. I don't know. I don't remember. I think, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in comparison to us, what's the difference of cost of living? In comparison to us, what's the cost of product? I mean is chicken as expensive as it would be in the states? Is beef as expensive as in the states? It's it's. It, well, I can tell I you one thing more. specific. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of cows over there. There's a lot of cows here too, though. <laughs> but there, there's one drastic thing is that their healthcare is free. That's another. Yeah, that's, there's, that's there's huge. so many. You other, know, you don't yeah, have to pay health insurance, right? You know, that's, right. That makes a. There's education. so many things. Yeah. There's so it, many other things that factor into cost of living, where it can work. To for everybody to be paid minimum wage and not, and not receive tips. And, and I think yep. I think that's to me, I think that's the real point is so many people are like, oh, the cost of living is high, I need to make more money. They're like, no, the cost of living needs to come down. Because if you make yeah. more money, it know, just keeps the cost that, of living keeps going. Yeah, yeah, it just accelerates that. So yeah. 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 So it's to answer your question, it's like I don't it, it all depends. yeah. I mean it, yeah. it does work. It I'm, I'm sure it, it's there's, there's restaurants in the like UK. I'm sure if, if they I've have been in them. if they yeah. sure if they if they have the opposite, you know, of the of the question on their ballot over in the UK, then they'd be just as up in an war as maybe we are because they don't want to make the change either. That's not how it works for them. Yep. So oh I'm sure because then they'd be like, wait, how am I supposed to know? Yeah, what how I'm am I supposed getting to know paid? what I'm getting? I can't. Yeah, no one's going to tip paycheck. me. Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So it's just, it's just, it's the change, but... You hate change. I don't like change. Nobody likes change. <laughs> I don't know why. Carl does. Yeah. <laughs> like a catalyst Carl's still wearing his Thanksgiving Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, that's yeah, he fair. Hates so much. I didn't say like to change his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He um, hasn't changed his attire since 1951. Great. <laughs> Is there... So, is pooling tips better or not pooling tips, since we're talking about tips? It depends. Yeah. Depends who you it ask. Really, it depends. Yeah. Well, it depends on the yeah. situation, too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and who you work with. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it really... When I th- This is the first place that I've, that I've worked at where pooling tips works and kind of makes things a little bit better. Um, but when I first started working here, I was like, ah, this is strange. You know, like, it just was not... It didn't seem like it would make sense to me. Um, but there's so many factors involved. Just the shape of this room. If you have somebody in this back section over here, they're not going to get any tables until every single one of those front window tables is oh, full. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's no other choice. So now they're on their own. So now they're on their own. They're making less. And if you rotate the sections every week, sure, you make it fair in that regard. But you can't... You know, there's some people that can't afford to take a hit right. on a Friday night. Yeah. You know, they just so because I mean, I've experienced that actually firsthand working at East Bay Grill. They have that whole, that all of those tables that are right by the windows overlook the water, and they actually specifically see all of those sections first, and then they move down down the sections. So they don't rotate sections. Per se, they rotate at the furthest away from the windows. So they'll seat all the window tables first, then the next aisle of seating they'll sit, and then the next aisle, and it goes... All, and, and so if you're in the section that's furthest away from the windows, you're not getting a table. If your shift starts at four, you're not getting... Sometimes you don't get a table till six o'clock. Yeah. 
Which is one of those that makes sense, because if you set someone the furthest table away from the windows, and you're like, I mean, can I sit at the tables? Like, yeah. I, which, it, as a customer, I'd be like, I yeah. can't hear this. And the, the best ocean. employees were always the one, they always had the windows. They never rotated the windows. Yeah. So it, granted, I, that was, you know, when I worked there, it was probably 12 years ago. I don't know if it's changed since, but probably not. Well, now there's no ocean view. <laughs> yeah. It's just, just a condos. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, so it's, there's, it's the shape of this room. It's how big this room is. Um, but it's still, everything's kind of centralized. So the bar is huge. Yeah. But it's all right there, right? I mean. So let me kind of. And we split by shift. Some places uh, split by hours worked. Yeah. So they do at the end of the week, pool all the tips. And they say, you worked nine hours, you worked 15 hours. And they yeah. do the math and split the tips up like that. Which is tough, too, because, you know, you get a Tuesday, which is really slow, but then you get a Friday, which is really big. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of a place that does it like that. Yeah. Um, Wait, like, the whole week? The whole week. The whole week. Oh, no, we do it by day. Yeah, so the whole week is split up yeah. by the oh. number of hours everybody worked. That doesn't seem So they come fair. up and say, you know, we made $2,000 in tips. We had, you know, 20 hours. That's, what, 40 bucks an hour? What is it? Sure. It's 10 bucks an hour, whatever it is. It's too early for that. And then they say, <laughs> this is how many hours you worked this week. And they just give you that. Get, so yeah. everybody makes the same amount hourly for a pool weekly. tip on a weekly basis. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that well, makes... Why like, would you want to work Monday days? Yeah. yeah. Well, nothing fucking... Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. Or if you work really hard to build up a clientele with specific shifts and half of it, you know, a percentage of it is going to somebody who doesn't even work that day. Yeah. That's right. shitty. Right. Yeah. And then there's places I've worked where... Um, they, they pool tips, but when San Diego's was open, the upstairs and the downstairs pooled tips, and that was extremely unfair. And I think I think Main Street did it for a hot second, and then they were like, yeah, this is stupid. Because it's different people going, like, it's a party atmosphere upstairs at local places. Yep. Yeah. And then, like, you're mostly eating food downstairs, but specifically the, the bar at San Diego's was tiny. I mean, it was, what, 12 Five. seats, maybe? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, and And... No one was going to San Diego to eat at the bar. Like that's just it, yeah. that's just how it was. So I have to split my tips upstairs. That I and granted, I'm now I'm only making money late night. So I'm only making money from say seven p.m. to close. But I'm running around like a chicken with a head cut off for some from seven to close. Yeah, and they're just downstairs watching hockey. Like you know what I mean? It just it was so unfair, and to the point where there was one time. We just the the bartenders upstairs. We decided to figure out what the hourly was just for what we had upstairs. And then when the guy from downstairs came upstairs and brought his money, it was significantly less. Sig- I think he only brought up, and this was like a weekend night, probably a Friday. I think he only brought up like a hundred dollars in tips, roughly, and we had like thousands of tips. Yeah. So. Why are we? Why are we giving you this money? Like, what? You didn't do anything. Why? Why are we giving you all this money? And then, and the owners' mentalities were that, well, you don't really do food upstairs, so your check pres- your your check amounts are less, and they're doing food downstairs, and their checks are higher. It's like, okay, but you have to have people downstairs in order for the checks to exist. Right, right, right. So, like, it there was a lot of times it really didn't work out. Um, that would only work if you rotate so everyone's like, and that was downstairs the problem. Monday. Right, that was the problem. Was that they then people are going to say, well, I don't want my Monday shift anymore. Yeah. They, that was yep. the problem is that they put the people but downstairs. Keep my Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. They put the people Friday downstairs Saturday. that couldn't handle the upstairs, and they put the people who could handle the upstairs, and they never put That is downstairs. called performance punishment. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. All they right, so rotate. let's solve the world's problems. <laughs> okay. Bleach. Between the four of us. Yes. What is the way to do business with servers and bartenders? I need more context. <laughs> yeah. with, with I mean, no. is it, is, and this, it, it, this is just an argument because everybody has different thoughts, but is it whatever you do, you keep? Is it your own rather than pooling? Is it, um, should they be making minimum wage? Like, what do we think? Are we... We're, we're, we're all the presidents. With, with the existing framework with, that we and see. No, anything you think. What should we go to? Or should we just keep it the same? Should we go to a European model? 
No. Nah. Just um, because you're going to lose your professional bartender crew. Like, if you go to Europe, yeah. you might saw younger kids. Or at least in Scotland and England. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you're not going to get that money. Like, there's no reason for you to stick around for 300 years bartending <laughs> if you're only making 15 bucks an hour. Yeah. Yeah, and see, that's like if you're working at a retail job where you start at 15 bucks an hour, if you're there for 25 years, you're not still making 15 bucks yeah, an hour. Getting, right? yep. Yeah. You're getting significantly more yeah. um, depending on where you work. But right. That's, you can't do that in restaurants because right. if you have everyone that stays in one restaurant for like 15 well, I mean, years, like that we, place is well, I mean, like if you're, if, like you're way if you're a management or if you're a cook, you get raises. Right. So if we raise the minimum for a server, would they get raises? I don't yeah. know. That, I mean, that's that's kind of like one and of those. So like, I work do the same work as you, but yeah. I've been there longer, so I make more money than you. Yeah. Or you work more than me, but you get paid less. Yeah. Well, huh. but I mean, I'm even looking at it as so like, say you have like one of those mom and pop restaurants, but the staff never changes. Yep. Yeah. They've been there for 20 years. Yeah. They've all been getting, you know, the three percent raise or yeah. cost of living raise. Yeah. They started at fifteen bucks an hour. Now they're making twenty-seven bucks an hour, so that restaurant has to keep raising their yeah. prices to offset that. Yeah. And then you have a restaurant that has just burns yeah. through people, and never has to raise their prices. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, I just don't know how that would yeah work feasibly other than being like, all right, this is like a kid's job and right. I think, yeah. I think that old pizza place that had the same people forever. Yeah. Is you know, probably a business, uh, a place doing good business where, you know, the lady's been working there for 30 years. She knows that she's going to make, you know, a good amount of tips. She just doesn't really care about yeah. the right. race every year. The race right, right. Yep. But what I'm saying is if, if, you're, if you go to a model to where you're not getting tips. tips yeah. And right. Like, Correct. Can you get a raise every year? Right. Yeah. Right. Maybe. But yeah, that's, I, that's what I think it takes away the career. Yeah. Bartenders and all yeah. that stuff. So. Yeah, no, but back definitely. then, you can give somebody a three dollar, you know, an hour raise, which is a good percentage. Like, fuck, that's a huge that. percentage. Yeah. But they're saying, um, I'm making thirty five dollars an hour in tips. Now yeah, I'm not getting those tips. What is the three dollar raise going to get? Me? So yep. you're right. So you're only going to get that. That is one hundred percent the problem I had with uh, working retail. Is it like, oh, you know, you get. It was literally the difference between a dime and a quarter an hour. Yep. You had to kill yourself to get the quarter. And then I'm like, keep your fucking 15 cents. Like, yeah. the amount that I have to work to get that is not worth it. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's... I don't know. I'm not about it. I don't, I don't think it's good for what we... In Massachusetts, I don't think it's... Keep it's it the same. It. So, I'll ask you yeah. this. No. When you go yeah. out... Yes. Do you tip for good service, or are you just tipping 20% no matter what? I tip 20% no matter what, but I'll tip more if it's good service. Yeah, same. Same. And what is good service? You don't talk to me. That's right. You said they don't talk to you? Yeah. Well, to be fair, yeah. Leave me alone and keep them coming. Yeah. Yep. No, I mean, depending Sometimes, on where I am, yeah. absolutely. Sometimes. Don't fucking talk to sure. me. Like, absolutely. Depends on where it is. That's so fun. Like, I, I hear people bitch about self-checkout. I'm like, I fucking love self-checkout. Love self-checkout. Yeah. Love it. I don't have to talk to love anyone. It. I don't have to make bullshit. They don't have to comment on what I'm talking I can never get the stupid thing to work. That's because uh, you're old. Dude, beep, Stop beep, and Shop yeah. costs way more money than Market Basket, but Stop and Shop has a price gun. Where yes. you can just go, oh, you can go right around scan it yep. as you shop. And then yeah. I just scan that and I fucking leave. You bring yep. your own bags and you're just done. It's yeah. done. Best yep. way to go fucking grocery shopping. I never shopping. did that. You should. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can even do it on your phone. Yes, you do it on your phone. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Actually, I don't even go grocery shopping really anymore. I just order it through That's the app and I, I have, well, I have it picked up. Like, I pick it up. So yeah. I don't even go in the store. Oh, I did that by yeah. accident once. <laughs> so, like, you can, um, you know, like, I was getting stuff through Walmart and I was having it delivered, but there was one thing. Oh, that I was accidentally like curbside accidentally picket. was like curbside pickup was like one thing. <laughs> so then I had to go to the curbside pickup and they come out with like one thing all confused like, is this for is you? This and you're like, yeah, thank Sorry. you. Yep. <laughs> Even though this is an option. Here's your toothbrush. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> um, but yeah, going back to like service, I guess. So there's places where I definitely don't want to engage with the bartender. And then there's places where I definitely want to. So that's a tip I, more if I, I know the I, person. But I, yeah. well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, but how do you get to know the person? Right? Yeah. So you eventually, you know, like you eventually Fair. start. Yeah. 
Um, I have a podcast. That's, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like you know, I you know, like if I like I went to Gillis on Sunday, and like we we go Sundays because we know the the, the person that's bartending, and we shoot the shit. She talks with us. But if I go to I don't know, even Speedwell, like I don't. I I mean I know who's working and I know that, but I don't particularly care if Michelle sits and chit chats with me. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't but I'm not tipping I guess I'm not tipping any different. Um But like if it, I go to if I go there... to like a Chili's, like I don't really give a shit yeah. about the bartender at Chili's. No offense, sorry, Chili's, but I just I'm going there to like get something good. If to I'm eat, going to I'm eat, just, I like, don't want you to bother me. If I'm there drinking then fucking good luck not bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking keep talking. I'm gonna be bothering right. you. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Fair. Is is there has there ever been a moment where you're like, fuck them, I'm not tipping? Have you ever gotten pushed that point? Like, I've definitely. I'm, there's been twice in my life where I've left a zero dollar tip. Yeah, I you told us one. Yep, Buffalo one was, Wild Wings. Right? Yeah, the, the, the Buffalo Wild Wings. Actually, both of them happened out Wings. of Buffalo Wild Wings. Just in two different states. <laughs> you should not go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, that's, like... look, for a while there, I was like, yeah, I ain't going there no more. I actually popped into a court. I was going to see a movie, and I was super early. So I'm like, I'm going to sit and have a beer. And, like, the closest places are, like, very yeah. corporate places. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I'm just going to pop in here. I'm like, it'll be nice and quiet. I don't have yeah. to fuck talk to anyone. I sat at the bar, no lie, for 12 minutes. There was no one behind the bar. Yeah. No one came over and was like, hey, you know, we're close. Like... Yeah. Like, I sat there in a bubble by myself to the point where I'm like, fuck this, and left. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 It was crazy. Was no one else so sitting at the bar either? either? There was no one else. There was, there was almost no one yeah. in the place. Right. Oh, wait, so there's a reason. Oh, <laughs> but yeah. It was, it was, but, like, I even kind of, like, you know, did the looked over at the people who were kind of, like, working in the kitchen. Yeah. And, like, they would like, oh. look at you. Yeah. And like, so no you're going to do the old throw your keys down or anything Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to check out it somewhere and they're on their fucking phones, yes. you're paying attention yeah. to you. <laughs> Carl, have you ever not tipped somewhere? I can't think of a time that I haven't, but there's yeah. been times that I know that I didn't want to. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm the same. I, I've tipped very low for pizza delivery on a, on occasion, where it's just like yeah, delivery. Yeah. You're like that's an different. hour and a half late. Yeah, that's you know, different. Like, yeah, and he's carrying it like a book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got a piece. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, crazy. is there any time that you can go out to eat and relax and not say that person's been at the bar for five minutes? Nobody went nope. out. This guy doesn't have a. a <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. These people have been waiting at the door for ten yeah. minutes and no yeah. one said. It's hard. It. It's hard to not observe the it, whole it's, rest of the place. It really. And then, is. You know, somebody will make a drink and you're like, Jesus Christ, that person's got to be friggin' drunk. And yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then I find myself talking to the budget. Oh, what are you making? Yeah. What is that? that girl, this fucking like, guy keeps talking. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt about it. That's yeah. why they're poisoning you with the yeah. extra vodka. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if I can't feel drunk, he won't talk. talk. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, he just keeps talking more. <laughs> <laughs> keeps touching me. <laughs> oh, I don't touch a lot of people. Just, well, um, just pregnant ones. Yeah. Yeah, that's My right. wife said, stop doing that stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, she said, don't yeah. say anything you wouldn't say to your cellmate in jail. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that's don't say anything to a woman that you wouldn't say to your cellmate in jail. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Give me an example. Went, <laughs> yeah, I want to know where your line is. I, know, I was yeah. going to say, I feel like... Hey, you're showing a lot of cleavage today. <laughs> I can pick up my soap. Those pants fit you really well. <laughs> that's a lovely shade Those of orange. Those stripes look slimming on you. <laughs> <laughs> but every once in a while, we'll go out and I'll say something and my wife will say, what's the rule? And I'll say, shit. <laughs> that did sound weird if you put it in that context. Yeah. Have you ever gotten kicked out of a police court for being inappropriate? No. Only no. by Jen. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the couch. Yeah. Oh, not I kicked out. I bet you kicked him out of the bar. In a big group, I have, but not like individually. The it, closest yeah. I was told uh, that I was being too loud and I happened to be with someone sitting at this table. <laughs> um, by someone we know well. I know, yeah. That was, that was yeah. actually hilarious. And it was, I, I just didn't realize we were being as loud as we were. I don't oh, you never we, do it when you do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, yeah, we were, I mean, but it was like you and me and Fish were all talking all over each other, and then we were laughing, and then it was like, whatever. And Fish was getting really pissed off, which just yes, made me do made, it more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the discussion yeah. was, do cats have elbows? Yeah. 
The was fish was very, adamant, and I didn't really care, but it just made fish argument, mad, so yeah. I kept poking the bear. Yeah, and, and like I, I, it was. I think it was more because like there was like music playing, and, it was, and like, we were the louder than the music, and like yeah. we were louder than the music, and so like whatever. I'm and just the, loud and the louder it is inside, like when me and my friends go out, we're loud. Yeah. Because it's like this podcast. Everybody wants to talk over everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I know you had 80 of your friends in here the other day. It sounded like there was 50 people in I know. <laughs> and everybody wants to talk over each other. And everybody wants to, And then it gets louder and louder and louder. <laughs> so yep. we went to opening day. Um, we had tickets. I think the game started at 2. We got there early. We were in the bar at maybe... 11. Yeah, maybe 11. <laughs> yeah. And we walked in, and they had just opened... And it was pouring out. So we knew there wasn't going to be any game. Yeah. yeah. And we walked into the bar. It was like 11, 11.30, and there was nobody in there. Yeah. So there was maybe 10 of us. Five people went this way. Five people went to the bar. We got over there, and one of my friends started yelling, oh, got me a beer. All right. And the manager came over and said, you guys all have to leave. <laughs> I'm like, this is our first bar. It's like yeah. Yeah. 11.30 in the morning. Yeah. Like, nope, you guys got to leave. So then, by then, Wachusett was doing like a big promo. So I walked over to Wachusett's guys and just stood with them and said, yeah, see you guys. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, as a group, we're, we're a loud group. Yeah. And there could be four of us, there could be yeah, but ten when, of us. Have, have it you, also sounds worse when it's they just first open and nobody's in here. And it's, yeah. it, but if there was but, you know, hey, good 100 for the, other people good in the, for the room, manager, they probably wouldn't even. You know, it's open, uh, not open. Yeah, it was open today, I think. Yep. He's like, I'm not putting up with the shit like, today. Yeah, I'm not putting up with the shit today. Uh, in the butt right have away. you ever been out with friends like that and been like, "All right, we were a lot. Let's let's take care of this." <laughs> uh, me and Mahoney have definitely. Been. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, "All right, we yeah. were a little out of control. 100%. We should take care of them." Anytime I think you I were there for friends. it too, probably. When we all went, I don't even remember what it was for specifically. Was it just after the day probably drinking? After day probably after yeah. day drinking. Yeah. And you hear about it for days after. Wow, well, you guys banged up. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't hear about and it. And then I walk, <laughs> walk in there like, your friend's not coming out. Like, uh, and what about this? Because this has happened to me. It, it was after, a, I think, a, a Bruins game. We all went down and had a bunch of beers. And we all tipped. And the waitress comes over and she goes, you guys tipped me a lot. And we're like, oh, no, no, it's for you. And then like, we're all walking back to the train and we're like, I mean, how much did we tip her that yeah. she brought it back? That actually happened to me two weekends ago. There was a woman who I don't think she realized she gave me eighty dollars instead of sixty dollars. Yeah, because uh, it was like forty something. I think it was like forty eight. She gave me sixty. If she gave me eighty, I think she thought she gave me sixty. So I went to give her the change back, and she's like, "Oh wait, no, 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 that's for you." And I was like, "Yeah, but it's too much." And she's yeah. like, "No, it's okay." And I'm like, "I really, lady." I'm trying to tell you there's an extra 20 and it's sitting right on top of yeah. the rest of your change. And she's like, no, it's all right. You're nice. Okay, I so am. You, you just... get all oh, one. Are you sure? Okay, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I left. I was yeah, stuck with, I mean. It, we're closed. Everyone's she, gone. She seemed like she, she's like, this, like, she was a little older and I kind of, I don't know, I felt bad. So I was like, are you sure? There's no age on money, Jess. So then I was like, oh, okay, fine. Just put it in my drawer. It's like, okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, that's Last Call. That's part of the show where we go around and people can plug whatever they want. And we'll start with the guest today, Carl Heine. Woo! Let's go back to the bartenders and servers. (laughs) Don't tip them. Tip them now. (laughs) (laughs) No, listen, I I think you should tip as appropriate as you think you should tip. Everybody knows the norms, but if you're getting bad service... Don't tip for it because that person doesn't need to be there. Says the people who, and, and if you who tip, we'd still tip anyway. <laughs> if yeah. you get you know somebody that's you know great, then give them a little more. But tell them that they were great. Yeah. Don't, don't just let it go. Don't, don't tell the people they suck. Yeah. It, yeah. Don't tell them to smile. Yeah. And if you do, <laughs> don't tell them to smile either. If you do, I mean, in, in a lot of restaurants they have that sign. Um, if you love our place, tell everybody. If you didn't have a good experience, please tell us. Yeah, I'm Okay. But it's also it's also one of those like if you didn't tip well the time before and then got shitty service, you just kind of you know you, you know it's like ask for it. yeah you kind of ask yeah. for it depends yeah but then again you they have to know you yeah yeah they're yeah. not just going to recognize you because you came in last month and tip shitty they might I don't know. <laughs> but if, if you always tip yeah. shitty uh, I've held some grudges Carl yeah yeah, yeah. and well, uh, Dan what do you got. Uh, go get donuts and market basket. They're delicious. <laughs> That's right. I'm not, I'm not even a big donut guy. Yeah. 
was like, I don't like I don't coffee. Have, I, I like Diet Coke and not donuts. <laughs> nah. I like croissants <laughs> and scones. No, breakfast sandwiches. Breakfast sandwiches, but I complain about them. <laughs> and they're shitty. Okay. They're always shitty. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Am I, yeah, go ahead, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was done. Oh, no, I just didn't yeah. know when to... Um, we picked a date for the next bartending competition. It's September 23rd. Oh, nice. So I um, literally just picked the date, like, last week. Ten minutes ago. Yeah. Um, and so a, I, gotta, I gotta put some stuff together. It's a Monday. Monday? Yep, yeah. it's a Monday. Yep. So um, I gotta get out and start having the bartenders uh, get selected for the competition but it's open to the public if anybody wants to come and watch all the shenanigans that ensue every year at, at the New World Tavern yeah <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, you didn't mention where it was at <laughs> oh, well, I it because I was plugging it I guess that's yeah. fair um, but yeah so we're going to have a third annual bartending competition September 23rd they're super fun they are super fun so. The podcasts that come with them aren't super fun. Uh, we them. didn't do one last year because <laughs> the one yeah. before was very rough. Yeah, we I, I think you like debated left. on whether or not you wanted yeah. to do it. I, I think you might even said you like oh, I brought it with me, but I wasn't into, like. Yeah. Oh, I think it did. Yeah, bring it. I was just yeah. Like, yeah. I didn't really. Uh, uh, you made I, the right call. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, you were you were fine last year. It was and, and I can I say this. Pretty, no, pretty, you were fine. Yeah. You were in comparison to the first year. Okay, yeah. You were fine. All right. All right. Um. And I, the only reason why I wanted to throw this out there is because me and Baby Jack were just talking about it the other day, is that uh, her and Cam got super banged up. <laughs> and I it, think, it I was think much more challenging even, this year because you're like, hey, we're going to drink eight old fashions. And you're like, oh, that's a lot of old fashions. Again, again, <laughs> this was our, our thing. You don't yeah. have to drink the, all yeah, of it. You don't have to finish, have to finish it. it. Uh, there are silver children <laughs> in wherever. Um, waste. But yeah, so uh, you know, I obviously will not be doing that part of the competition this year. But I gotta, I gotta try and get some new ideas. And I think we should do like the... the hot dog race they do around uh, the Brewer Stadium, where everyone dresses in a hot dog costume and has to run. We did an obstacle course the know, first year, but now they have to be hot dogs, and right? then they like, have like, physical hot contact. And, yeah, and yeah, then there was physical contact, and then I was like, ah, oh, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Someone tried to trip somebody. Someone tried to like literally. She literally shoved. Aubrey, because I I made a comment saying like oh like don't move out of their way like pretend like it's a busy night like so you have to walk through the crowd with the tray of drinks right I mean yep. no one's moving out of your way right so like a couple people like they were kind of funny like they would sit in a chair like kind of in the in the way but like you could still go around them like yep. um but there was specifically one group of people that wanted their friend to win so they pushed they were like literally pushing and shoving. Aubrey to the point where Aubrey took her water glass and dumped it on the girl. Hell yeah. They didn't <laughs> and, she, and, then, and then she shoved her and then the glass was broken. And, and it was a thing. It was a thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, so again, this is why we can't do nice things. Yep. Because yeah. people took, she, that, that girl took it to the extreme. Not Aubrey. I mean, I, she did dump a glass of water man. on her, but still. <laughs> they deserved it. Yeah. She did. I mean, she was shoving her yeah. like not just in the way but she was putting her hands on her so yep. uh, but yeah so it, I thought the obstacle course was a lot of fun I thought that was a really good idea but apparently maybe needs a little tweak we got a bunch uh, of cardboard Carls instead of real people <laughs> I think that would just get the living shit out of everybody <laughs> uh, I am going to plug uh, Hometown Hots and Hops September 21st the Saturday before the competition yeah and we're going to have John Casser, the Crip Keeper. We're going to have Ghostbusters car. We're going to have Tim Curry, Screen Worn Pennywise costume, live podcast, mm-hmm. contests, a whole bunch of shenanigans, food trucks, music. Um, and that's at Mayflower Brewery, September 21st. Starts at noon, goes till 7. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff. There'll be trivia the Thursday before, a uh, little film festival the Friday night before. Mm-hmm. So it's a whole, a whole weekend. A whole weekend of shenanigans. Cool. And uh, it'll be a good time. You can go to inebriart.com and find out how to get tickets. Um, you can email us at bartalkcast at gmail.com. You can find us on all social medias at bartalkcast. And that's it. Did I get hate mail yet? No, I don't think so. I'll write you one right now. I'm gonna check. <laughs> we also didn't get a yes. tip either. <laughs> <laughs>
And thanks for checking out the show today, listeners. Uh, if you enjoyed the content today, you can go over to patreon.com slash inebriart to support the show. You can join over there for just a few dollars a month and help us provide this fun content that you just checked out. You can also email us at inebriart.com with your questions, complaints, and concerns, or you can find us on all social medias at inebriart or at inebriart6 on Instagram. And also don't forget to check out our other shows, Bar Talk Podcast, Old Colony Cast, Inebriart, and all the other shows on the Inebriart Network, which you can find at inebriart.com. Thanks again for listening.